Hello. Hey guys, it's Shasha. Last year, I uploaded a makeover series for my in-laws condo, which is the kitchen, the bedroom, and the bathroom. Today's video is probably the most challenging makeover I've ever done, from ordering the wrong furniture, painting the wall a couple of times, failed DIYs, and overall just being very indecisive. I also never really got a chance to finish editing this makeover as there's been a lot of packing and moving going on. More about that on a separate video so make sure to subscribe. But for now, let's just get right into the video. In a small space, especially in a condo, it's common to have both living and dining areas all together. I know it's very challenging and overwhelming to deal with small spaces and it's really hard to make everything work without sacrificing comfort and functionality. But we just need to take it slowly, don't rush, assess how we want the space to work, like do you want it to be a place where you can host guests, do you want it to be a convertible guest bedroom, or do you want it to be a place for lounging, chilling, or relaxing. Don't be discouraged, you can still achieve all of this in a small space, you just have to be strategic about it. Currently, the dining area dominates the entire space. This four-seater dining set takes up too much floor space, so the sofa was tucked away in the corner. My goal for the space is to be able to lounge comfortably and dine at the same time. So how do we do that in a small space? If you look at the current state of the room, everything is complete. It has a sofa and a dining area. However, the space is too cramped that the dining table became the focal point to eat, work, and watch TV. This dining set only functions as the dining, the sofa set only functions as the sofa and this media console only functions as the media console and nothing more. So we're going to change all of that, start from scratch, but still have all the functionality we need but now with less furniture. That's when multifunctional pieces comes in. We have a piece of furniture that serves a lot of purpose. With this, we'll have a better flow and more space to work around. If you saw this on my previous vlog, I designed it to be a cozy living room having a sofa as the focal point so when you enter the space, it feels more inviting. For the dining situation, this console pulls out and becomes a dining table. If they have guests over, they can just pull out these ottomans which serves as storage and additional seating. Not just that, this is actually a sofa bed with huge storage underneath so now we have a guest bed. For the color schemes, even in a small space, you can still have some fun. In here, the media wall will be painted dark grey just to add some depth and visual character. On the other side, we're going to add some fun neutral patterns. We're selling the sofa, dining set, and the media rack in bundle so we can dispose of these fast and stress-free. Don't 
tulo mo ka book. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away with all these discounts that we got this coffee table as well, which I really like. However, I might be doing some wrong decisions here. Bonk. Let me just quickly share our story with this table. So in my plan, there's a custom table that converts into a dining table, right? Weeks before we started buying furniture, we actually reached out our previous contractor who did our kitchen and bathroom. We sent them our design with detailed measurements until we can no longer reach them when we sent them our payment. As much as possible, I do not want to do any major DIYs since there's not enough space for us to do any of it and we do not have the complete tools. However, we are left with no choice as we do not know anyone at this point to do a custom piece for us in such a limited time because we will be leaving Cebu soon. Then we saw this piece which had two tables on it. It has a big and smaller version which I think is perfect for the space. The smaller one has wheels so this will be used to pull out when it's time to eat. To extend the table, we're going to add this Kylo shelf using folding brackets so it will be folded when not in use. Perfect plan, right? So the goal today is to paint this wall, replace the chandelier with the ceiling fan, and paint this wall. The tiles were already replaced, so that's good. Then there's a construction going on, so it's a little bit noisy. Uh, also, we're going to adjust the TV. It's a little bit higher. So we're going to mount it on the eye level around here. Then shelves on the top. Once the ceiling fan is already installed, now we're going to dispose this electric fan so we can free up some space here. Our paint for the TV wall. It's a dark gray. And this one for the other wall in the sofa wall. Covering buff and silhouette gray.
My inspiration for this wall was actually the DIY mod cloth statement wall that Mr. Kate did for me as Boho Makeover. Ever since I saw that makeover years ago, I really want to try it out and I think this will be a great opportunity for me to do that. Right now, I am testing the paint. In the camera, it looks fine but in reality, it is a bit dark because the space is small and there's already a lot going on at the main accent wall. I want this to make it just neutral with a hint of pattern on the background. And right now, I am not sure if this works. At this point, I'm just so tired and stressed and I don't want to buy another kind of paint. I need to finish this wall as soon as possible. Uh.
Bukan gue Kapalit na may otoman kay wala na stock sa Mandaway Farm na mayroon sa SM Saan ba itong ipalit sa SM? Um, sa Ace Hardware mga shelves Oo, oh, shelf para sa kitchen So watch out sa kitchen makeover Peace out Peace out Bonk. Unboxing. Unboxing. Pretty much a box. Untaping. The table was supposed to be the main feature of this makeover. I'm just so sad we couldn't achieve it. We need to fly soon, so we need to wrap everything up and just accept how it is.
The ceiling fan is a total game changer. You can choose three levels of speed, which easily spreads throughout the entire living area and also has three modes of light. But the best part is it does not take up any space at all. The things I regretted buying are the coffee table and the sofa bed. Although I like the design and how light this coffee table is, it just takes up too much space. I love how the sofa bed has a ton of storage and can easily fit two people sleeping comfortably. The seats were okay at first, but as time passed, the cushion seats got thinner. We should have just splurged a bit more with the sofa as this gets used all the time. A lot has happened since then, and there's also a few changes in the space, like the coffee table. Curtains. Ottoman. And lastly, the custom dining table. Few weeks after we flew, I saw a Facebook post where I immediately noticed the same convertible table I wanted to have for this space. Good thing they were based in Cebu, so we messaged them right away. We sent them our plans. And a month after, the table was done and was delivered here. The previous table blends in perfectly on this wall, however, this is much better in terms of functionality. It was not really used and ended up using the coffee table when eating because of its size. The exact design was not followed since they had to prioritize the sturdiness of the table which is totally fine. I can finally say that I have transformed this space into a cozy and multifunctional living area. It was a lot of work, failures and delays, but everything was worth it. Huh? Oh, not from the chair.